Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trains Out, and today we're at London King's Cross, the southern terminus of the East Coast Main Line, where you'll be seeing services from London North Eastern Railway, Grand Central, Hull Trains, Great Northern, and Thameslink. Nice little selection on offer. A couple of Great Northern 365s that would have come in from Hornsey Depot. Uh, 800 Triple One has just arrived. I'm not too sure as to her origin. We've got uh, a pair of 387s situated here with 387115 in the front view. The bloke with the whistle is going like the clappers. There is a very filthy LNER HST set over there with 43307 at the helm. That service again has just turned up. I'm not too sure where from. And then if we go over there, we find an 800 of some description, 800 112, that will eventually be working a service to Leeds. If we then do an about turn, we find incoming an LNER 225 set led by 82229 with a little bit of rust on the front. Complete with chap sticking his head out of the window. Jolly good. Now, I've got to try and work out where this little number is appear from. Well, as that's coming in, we have the 1739 departure to Kingsling and Ely, worked by 387116. A service that is standing room only, complete with dodgy looks from the passengers. Here we have one of my personal favourites, 91110. Okay, and if we're doing about turn, here we find 387121 with a terminating Great Northern service. With 387114 bringing up the rear. And if we do another about turn, we find coming in from Hornsey Depot another pair of 365s. 365504 is leading this particular bunch in. And then on the rear, we have the 365-514. Oh no, it was in the middle. So bringing up the rear is actually 365-506. Well, that's handy information to know. Okay, about ready to depart now is going to be the 1742 Great Northern Next service to Peterborough. There's by 387115. as we have another LNER 225 set coming in. On the rear of this is 387117. The 82 I couldn't tell you. But it may very well depart in my stay here, so we shall see what happens. Oh no, 387119 is on the rear of this. It's another three car set. Three, three car, three train set 
combination? No. How about try three train consist? That one works, we'll stick with that. These Mark 3s could do with a Mark 3. Mark, wow, really? A Mark 3? That's a Mark 4, you Burke. They could do with a bit of a clean. That's what you wanted to say originally, but you got it wrong. Also incoming is a Grand Central Adelante. This will be working as service from Sunderland. 91121 is the one making a bit of a noise here. with another very full service. Okay, the next train to arrive in a bit of a blurry fashion is, eight, is 180-113 with a terminating whole train service from Hull, of all places. How's that for a lineup? Okay, the next train drive is going to be 700-010 with a terminating Thameslink service from Cambridge. And the platform is already full waiting to board that train. Okay, now departing is the 1748 Thameslink service to Leeds. Works by 800 112. The announcers, well, the announcements are here actually say it's the whatever time service it is, but then they go LNR Azuma service. They actually specify that it's worked by an Azuma. Okay, the next train to arrive is the terminating LNR 225 set from Leeds. Leading the way is 82222. As getting ready to depart is going to be the 1754 Great Northern service to Bulldog. Sure on the number of the leading 365. 91127 is pushing this service in. On the rear of the Bulldog service is going to be 
365528. Pagan's parting is the 1756 Thameslink service to Welling Garden City. Worked by 700010. Real time trains, uh, the site I use for all of my information is showing that a lot of the Welling services have been cancelled and there are services to and from Cambridge that have been cancelled as well. So uh, I'm just assuming that, that because that's having a moment that it's not registering things correctly. So I'm guessing this will be a 1756 scheduled service to Welling Garden City. I could be wrong, but uh, seeing as I haven't got much information to go off, I'm going to do, uh, well, really the best that I can with the resources that I have at my disposal. Okay, it's part now is going to be the 1800 LNR HST service to Edinburgh Waverley. 43307 leading the charge. First class looking rather full. On the rear is 43 300. Okay, also coming in now is a terminating Thameslink service. Good action shot there are some of the danger signs. 700.006 will be terminating here at London King's Cross. Now this might be coming in a Fawnsey depot, so there's a lot of trains that are coming in from there that I've seen. This could be one of them. In fact it is. This is this is coming in a Fawnsey depot. Okay, and also about rid of the part now is going to be the 1803 LNER service to Skipton. Worked by 800 triple one. All right, there's the final go ahead. Guard will get in, lock the door, and away she will go.
As we also have coming in here, terminating LNR 225 service from Leeds. First calling point for this service will be Peterborough. 800, sorry, 82210 is leading the 225 set in. As we also have coming in 387126 uh, working on our own. And that service is standing room only. I have a sneaky suspicion that may be coming in from Kingsling and Ely. Lord Mayor of Newcastle, 91130 brings in this service. Days. Okay, the next train drivers are terminating Grand Central service from Bradford Interchange. James Herriot. All floor reserved seating on there. And again, another very full service. Works by 181 And uh, 387126 was a terminating service from Ely. Okay, it's part of now is the 1809 Great Northern service to Kings Ling and Ely. I should tell a lie, it's just Ely. No, it's not. It's Ely via Cambridge. No, it's Kings Ling and Ely via Cambridge, you burk. With 387114 leading proceedings. And from the looks of things again, standing room only. 387121 is on the rear. Okay, if I read to the part now, it's going to be the 1812 Great Northern Service to Peterborough, led by 365506. That's a little peep from the driver there. Okay, in the middle was 365514. And with all three sets completely full, we round it off with 365504.
Okay, heading off to one of the depots is one of Grand Central's Adelantes. No. No, it isn't. Ooh, okay. Odd. Don't know where you're going, then. I have to check that, but uh, I wasn't aware that there was one supposed to be leaving just yet. Well, this will be at um, 180, 103, I imagine. I'll have to do a little bit of digging and find out where that one's off to. Okay, the next train driver is going to be 365510, leading one of her classmates in with a terminating Great Northern service. In fact, not terminating Great Northern service, but it is terminating in a manner of speaking, but it's actually running ECS from Hornsey Depot. On the rear is 365524. If you're into your 91s, then, you know, this is a place to be. Okay, quick little update for you. The time is currently 18.17. The Grand Central service was actually bound for Sunderland, and it was scheduled to depart at 16.48. That is over an hour and a half late. Yeah. No wonder why I was so confused by it. Okay, the next train to drive is 717.009. This might be, in fact, ah, this might be a terminating service from Welling Garden City. I'm sure it must be. If you're doing about turn, we find 91110. Pulling away with the 1818 LMR service to Newcastle. Looks like another service that is currently standing room only. On the rear was 82219. Okay, it's parting now is going to be 80006 with the 1821 Thameslink service to Cambridge. So I say 800 or 700? Well, you, you know what it is. Even with that warning, people, I'm still seeing people making a mad dash for the train like a minute before it's scheduled to depart. Okay, about ready to depart now is going to be the 1824 Great Northern service to Bulldog.
365524 leading the service. With 365510 bringing up the rear. Okay, the next train to arrive is a terminating Thameslink service from Welling Garden City. Worked by 700049. She's in. Okay, looks like our... Uh, who have we got here then? Is that, is that 717-009? Yes, it is. Yeah, 717-009 is, I believe, going off to Hornsey Depot. Okay, arriving now is a terminating LNER HST from York. Leading the way is 43277. Well, full service. Bringing up the rear is 43208. All right then, if we're doing about a turn, we find departing now 91127 with the 1830 LNER service to Edinburgh Waverley. That train is completely standing room only. Go on, girl.
You're not getting the catering trolley through that train. On the rear of this was Ace 2 Triple 2. Okay, the next train to arrive is a terminating LNR 800 from Leeds. This is words by 800 102. As we have another pair of three, three six fives coming in from Hornsey Depot. Three six five five oh eight. No, actually. Oh no, that's actually coming in from Baldock. I do apologise. Okay, to Barton now, uh, driven by Noel Edmonds, is 91121 with the 1833 and then the R service to Bradford Foster Square. trolley is currently at the head of that set and that is again standing room only so I for the majority of this service On the road, this was 82.217. As we also have some great Northern 387s coming in. Leading the way with an exceptionally bright light is now I can't actually see. Uh, where are we? I can't actually see it. Three eight seven one one eight. Oh shush you! I didn't ask for your input. On the rear of this is three eight seven one zero three. Again, another very, very full service. Okay, if we're doing about turn, we find the 1836 Thameslink service to Welling Garden City now departing. Works by uh, 70049.
Okay, as you can see there, that train is literally fit to burst. That will be the 1839 Great Northern service to Kings Lynn via Cambridge, worked by a pair of 387s. The rear set will detach and terminate at Cambridge, and the remainder of the train will continue towards Kings Lynn. That should be going any moment. So 387126 is leading with 387102 bringing up the rear. Okay, the next train to arrive is a terminating LNR 225 set from Edinburgh Waverley. Leading the way is H2209. Slowly working our way down. Uh, the services beginning to get less full on their arrival. Still plenty of people on board, mind you. On the rear will be 91106. That's how it's done. We're going to Brighton now is the 1848 whole train service to Beverly via Hull. Works by 180-113. with plenty of people on board and a lot of reserved seating. Okay, the next train to arrive is also a terminating LNR service from Edinburgh Waverley. The one that just came in was running about six or so minutes late. This one's coming in bang on time. Led by 82214. 
complete with a bit of dirt and rust. Plenty of people on board this service. the next train drivers are terminating Thameslink service from Cambridge. This is worked by 70039. Bit of a tight fit, but she just makes it. I'm loving this HST 800 180 225s. Happy days. Okay, it's parting now. Two minutes late is going to be the 1854 Great Northern service to Baldock with 365.508 leading. As we have uh, an exceptionally bright set of lights coming in, blinding me. Good lord. On the rear of this is 365502. Here we have blinding me, one of Ellen Yard's 800s. This is worked by 801105. I've got a sneaky suspicion this may be coming in from Leeds. On the rear of this is 801 106. Well, first class actually looks quite nice in those sets. This rear set's completely empty.
really are nice. Okay, it's part now, it's going to be the 1900 LNR service to Newcastle. Nine to one, one thirty is pulling the service quite well. As we also have some Great Northern three six fives coming in with a terminated service from Baldock. Three six five five three four brings it in. And 365539 brings up the rear. And 82210 heads off or trails off on the service to Newcastle. Please note on LNER services, train doors will close two minutes prior to departure. Please do not leave your luggage unattended on the station. Luggage left unattended may be removed without warning. Okay, if I register the file now, it's going to be the 1903 LNR Azuma service to Leeds. Worked by 800-102. Next calling point will be Peterborough. with a very full service. Okay, the next train to arrive is a Grand Central Adelante from Sunderland. Works by 180 107. Again, plenty of people on board. As also coming in, it's going to be a pair of Great Northern 387s with a terminating service from Ely and Kings Lynn. 387 120 will be leading. With 387 123 in the middle. Some women on board can't eat a chocolate bar. Okay. And on the rear is going to be 387108. The Atlante has just come to a stop so I can hear the brakes screeching. Okay, it's part of now is the 1906 Thameslink service to Welling Garden City, worked by 700-039. Thank you. 
1908. As now departing is our final train of the day. The 1906 LNER HST service to Lincoln Central with 43208 leading it away. As 91106 is taking away an empty stop to Bounds Green Depot. Nice spark from the pantograph there. Forty three two seven seven brings up the rear. And 82209 brings up the rear of the set, of the, uh, set bound for Bounce Green Depot. So as they both continue onward, onwards, I shall leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. Well, again, for a rush hour period, fantastic. Started a bit later than I normally would, but uh, that's what you get when you have to travel uh, from Milton Keynes into London. Uh, if you miss the quarter past service that goes from Crewe to London, you have to then wait for a uh, slower stopping service that runs from Liverpool Lime Street. So it got me into London about uh, 20 past five. But all in all, not too bad. Bristol was sort of 10 minute walk over here. Jobs are good. And uh, my next and final rush hour film for 2019 will be from London Paddington in one week's time, uh, primarily because as you can see, the nights are drawing in. And uh, with nighttime filming just isn't uh, isn't all that good at the best of times, unless you have got a ridiculously amazing camera. But uh, yeah, that will be my last one in about a week's time from London Paddington. Really looking forward to doing a rush hour film there, and uh, be a great way to finish it all off. But I love the architecture of King's Cross. King's Cross is an amazing station to come to if you haven't been before and you want to catch as much variety as possible. Uh, from not only Great Northern but also LNER before their 91s all bite the dust and eventually the HSTs all disappear. Please do come down, give this station a look. It is amazing to come to and I can assure you, you will not be disappointed. It is outstanding. And if you are heavy on your architectural design, uh, the main station entrance is simply sublime. And as you can see here, the arch, well the arch is over the many platforms here are staggering absolutely staggering it's well lit when you're inside easy to navigate all in all a very warm and welcoming station do highly highly recommend it so until next time from me here at london king's cross i shall see you all later take care guys goodbye